Drea O. Drea O. Drea O. Drea O. Drea O. I'm from Chicago and I went Drea O right now. Yeah. Yeah. Drea O. Drea O. Beautiful Drea O. I went my girl Drea O. And she everywhere you go. Everywhere you go. She's everywhere you go. It's crazy. According to the paperwork, Dale has something to do with the death of that shawty. And my hunch is telling me that he has something to do with the death of cash. And the family of Shawty is telling me that my hunch is right. And they're telling me that they have phone records proving it. So yesterday, I was in a truck minding my business, and the same individual told me about the whole um, FBI, CPD, getting Dale's phone records. Now, I would not believe this this individual because the same individual they was like if you don't believe me just call the man's mother and i had shawty's uh mother's number for like a month but who wants to call and be like hey did your baby daddy really kill your son like i mean i i got a heart i don't want to do that but see like i'm making these videos and i'm like damn like because i don't i want to be wrong like i i don't i i want the woman to be like i, I lied like seriously i would love to be wrong with about this situation i don't want to be freaking right so I'm like, I got to call this number because like at this at, at this time, like I'm like, man, my mad playing tricks on me like I'm tripping. You know, so I'm like, I got to call this number. So I, I call the number and I'm thinking that I'm going to get one eight hundred dominoes. And it turns out it's really it's really this man's mother. And, you know, her words were. There is a narrative that is being exposed on the Internet that I guess Big Dell had something to do with. The demise of FBG Cash. I think the first time that I saw the story was on your channel. When I saw this on your channel, I just really, my mouth at the floor. I just, I had to reach out and I really want to talk to the source and get everything that's going on. So Chris, welcome to the show. And I know you have a lot to say and you have um, some things you want to fill us in with. So I'll let you take the floor. You know what? Drea, the, the crazy thing is I, I don't have a lot to say. Um, I'm doing this because I know you love cash. Like I can read people's I can read people's eyes and I can tell that when cash died, it affected you. You know, um, when cash died, it affected me. Because I knew cash was going to make it. You know, he, I was. Just knew cash. he was going to make he was he was there, you know, like and it's. I didn't, it wasn't for any personal gain. I just wanted to be like, man, I knew that guy was going to be something, you know? Mm -hmm. So when I woke up and I heard that news, you know, I was devastated. And for the longest time, what a lot of people don't know is that I, I, I stepped away from the whole like Chicago blogging scene, the whole drill scene, because like with Cash died, I felt like the drill scene died with it. So like the last thing Dale did, and I was like, no, nah, this is some, something is off about this. Cash name popped back up in the news or something like that. And when I do lives, I drop the links for everybody because I like to have an open live, you know? So Cash name popped in the news and people jumped on the live and started talking about Cash. Dale gets to blowing my phone up, blowing my phone up, blowing my phone up. I'm like, like, I'm like, it was a lot of people in the chat. So maybe he was in there and I didn't see him. So I picked up the phone. He was like, drop that link. So I dropped the link. And when I dropped the link, they was talking about like how Cash died. And he was like, no, no, y'all, well, y'all got it wrong. No, that's not what happened. See, what y'all don't know is, what y'all don't know is, Cash got killed. And this is exactly how I said, Cash got killed because he was at his mama house. And see, that might not mean nothing to you all, but I was like, he was at his mama house. Think about it. You go to your mama house all the time. You ain't think about getting killed. I mean, the, the regular person don't think like that, but I'm like, that's a killer ass response. So, like, I thought of, I, I, I heard that. And then when I interviewed EBT Baby Greg, and Baby Greg got to talking about cash because EBT Baby Greg and cash has some stuff going on with cash called EBT Baby, Baby Greg a rat. BG a cool dude, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I just wanted to get his story. And when baby Greg started mentioning cash, he did the same thing. Drop that link, drop that link, drop that link. Now, like, however, like, it's like that time around, 
I didn't drop the link because I rarely pay for interviews. Like I paid for the Billy interview, Tommy Sotomayor interview, and then I paid for that baby Greg interview because, because look, whatever me and BG had going on, we had going on, but like, I don't pay for interviews. So I'm like, Dale, I'm doing business right now. Like I can't really let you jump on the link and talk to him. Like we doing an interview, you know? And he got so freaking heated. Like he got to calling me up. like, and like, here's the thing when I'm saying this, y'all, like, I don't want y'all, I don't want nobody. Y'all can't judge Dale because y'all ain't grew up in, in murder town. Y'all ain't grew up in this environment. Like Dale grew up, Dale's father was milkman. So y'all don't know what he was trained to do. Y'all don't, y'all don't know is what I'm saying. So I don't want y'all judging Dale, but I just noticed like he got so upset when I didn't drop that link. And I'm like, Dale, I'm doing business. And Dale, the money dude, you know, Dale know about money. I'm like, Dale, this is about some damn money. And you trying to mess up my cash. So me and him got into an altercation about that to the point where like, that dude just started acting freaking crazy. Like, like a lunatic. Like he started acting like one of my uncles, like on some real killing shit to the point where I'm like, man, I might have to- What was he saying? He was just saying like, F Chris, he ain't never did nothing to Dan his life on the tray. He on drugs. He this? But see, here's the thing, Dale, Dale, by Dale being from 63rd, it's Dale's job to know everybody on that street. So Dale already knew my resume. I don't portray, I'm not from the streets. Dale, like, Dale already knew this. That's why Dale, me and Dale linked up. He felt comfortable because I wasn't from the streets. So he got mad and he did that same thing. Oh, he started like talking real street. And I'm like, man, this ain't going to end well. And then, like, it was a lot of other stuff that was going on on the back end. And I don't want to talk about, you know. But then here's the thing. This is when I realized what he was capable of. Now, him and, okay, BG got on my platform and was like, F you, Dale. You really a B and your father paid his way into this S. Like, that's what he said. And look, milk is big as it gets. You know what I'm saying? Some people say milk is bigger than Larry. And I'm not, no disrespect to Larry. Like, you know what I'm saying? Free Larry, you know, for all the gangsters, I ain't disrespect nobody. But milk was big, you know? So like he said, baby, I mean, baby Greg said that. I'm like, damn, that's really disrespectful. The next day, Dale is in that church with baby Greg, baby mother on his lap, the same mother that, uh, you know, baby Greg, he had a child and he lost that child. So like they got a deceased child together. So that that woman sitting on his lap by Santa Claus. He like, no, nah, bro, we need to fix this. We need to straighten this out. And look, baby Greg, a gangster. Like, you know, people say he a goofy, whatever. But at the end of the day, like, you know, he from the streets. Greg, baby Greg got on that platform the next day with Dale. and was like, shout out to Dale. I'm glad we worked this out. And I was like, what the F? Because it's like you don't really see like, you know, when you see two people clash, it's like, no, nah, we going at it. Like his baby Greg is, is a big, I'm like, damn, you, your whole temperature just changed. So I just, I started to realize what Dale was capable of, if they made any sense, based off of his experiences, based off of the experiences I had with him when he got upset. Then I'm seeing how he was reacting with uh, baby Greg type of deal. So you mix that with every time he, like, he just got nervous every time Cash was around. And then look, I just got to be honest, like, he just started getting super cool with the old one. I'm like, why is he getting cool with old block? And his son's best friend was locked in with Duck, and he know what happened with Duck because it's public record. This is just my thought process. Like, so this is what led me to, like, I'm like, something is up with this. You know what I'm saying? Like, something is up with this. So I never, I didn't hear it from anybody else first like i was thinking it first and then that's me thinking it and then me saying it led to what it has led to now if that make any sense <clears throat> so when you initially dropped i guess the first video maybe like a month ago that was off of you just kind of putting together the pieces from your own experience the initial video was just off of a hunch. I'm like, because it's just like. Did alpha, anybody alpha. give you information at that time or this is just you putting together the pieces? Ab the first video, absolutely no information given whatsoever. 
just okay. based off of my personal interactions that I had with, with Dale. Okay. And then, so what was the reaction after you dropped that information? Because that also was around the time that I guess he was, he just lost his life and he was getting buried. So I know a lot of people were, you know, up in arms about the stories that were being dropped around that time. F you, you going to die, this and that, just a whole, like, you know how the end of that is. Just Who was, was it just random people or his family? Well, it was random trolls, but it was also content creators, too. You know, it was a lot of content creators that said some stuff. I'm like, man, that's crazy, you know? I'm like, damn, you know, it was, it was a few content creators. Really? Do you really, truly believe that? Yes. And this is the, like, this is the God honest truth. I believe in faith. I was I didn't chase cash and I wasn't chasing Dale and I it wasn't an accident that cash kept bothering me and I spoke to him a day before he passed. It wasn't a, it wasn't an accident that Dale popped on my platform and, and and started talking to me like this. You get what I'm saying? So when I had the hunch, a lot of times I don't do it. I don't know why I do it. I just did it. I just got like Nike. I just did it for the sake of doing it because I felt like it needed to be done. Initially when I did it, I wanted to stir up enough controversy to keep that man's legacy going which is drill destroyed our culture because this is what all this is about you know so when i initially made when i initially heard about it rest in peace to dale dale was my friend people wasn't listening people wasn't people didn't want to hear about the holy side of dale people didn't want to hear about the time where dale made it safe for me to walk to school every morning at eight o'clock or you know people ain't want to hear about him being genuinely sad about G Skinny's death, no matter if he was involved in it or not. People didn't want to hear about him pushing the whole no ops. We ain't got no ops. Ain't no such thing as no ops. People didn't want to hear about the fact that the word drill was actually started from the South Shore drill team. We made it demonic. So people didn't want to hear about the stuff that he was actually saying. So I had to give people the BS so they can look into his life. People didn't care about King Von and they seen the seven serial killer documentaries. I didn't want to do it. It had to be done. Like that's that's how I felt during the time when it was when it was done. So you're are you saying that you created the narrative to get in like to get eyeballs on his positive movement? So you put out the negative to try to get people to look at his positive. Well, the here's the thing. I'm not I'm not pushing a narrative because I think that word is overused. It's more so the truth because my initial hunch led to people reaching out. I was like, damn, bro, you actually right. I didn't want to okay. be right. Yeah. So let's talk about that then. Okay. So you put out the first video off of a hunch. It got a lot of people talking, and then I guess a month later, you followed it up with a video that you're saying that you have concrete evidence and uh, FBI paperwork to back it up. So let's talk about that. I initially got reached out to when they seen me shed a tear for Dale. Don't you shed a tear for that man. This is what people in my DM was telling me. And it got to the point where I was arguing with these people in my DMs, like, how can you tell me not to grieve for somebody that I care about? You know, I formed a relationship with this man. And then they got to telling me all this crazy ass information. And then not only did they tell me the information, they gave me the actual paperwork. Now, during the time, I'm like, people can make up fake paperwork. So I read the paperwork. I didn't post it because I didn't think it was legit. Now, months later, after I made the video that you guys seen, another YouTuber released the actual paperwork. Now, in that paperwork, when I made the initial video, everything that I said in that video, the guy said in the paperwork, the only thing I had confusion over was if Cash shot or if G Skinny shot. But the foundation of my video was Dale got up and said, I want that MF a dead. Okay, yeah. So now before we move on, let's just go over this uh, story really quick. Because this, this leads into the whole um, storyline of why you're saying Cash lost his life. So let's talk about the party and what exactly happened at the party according to um your information so let's go over halloween 2022 what happened that day with big dell fat shorty g skinny and cash at this party that big dell threw 
with his wife. Dale was throwing a party. It was a family party that both sides of his family were invited to. Skinny wasn't invited to the party. Now, see, here's the thing. Dale's not here to speak for herself, so I got I have to speak for Dale when it comes to this. Let Dale tell it. Dale said Skinny ain't touch him. Dale said Skinny ain't lay a hand on him. Let the streets say it. The streets are saying that Skinny did. So y'all can do whatever y'all want to do with that. So um, geez, the whole G Skinny being a rat, I think that's something that... Um, Trench's news would be more qualified to speak on because this is when he came into the equation. Dale blamed Swipe on the death of his son because Dale said Dale said that that paperwork caused confusion between the crew. So he's saying when Swipe put that paperwork out, it had them to arguing, which led to that shootout. Okay. This, then this came out of Dale's mouth, and you can see it on it. If you um, you can watch the interview that I did with Dale. This is what he said on the interview. Okay. So now fast forward to Halloween. Everybody came together, and yeah. So how did G Skinny end up at the party if there was conflict? Because one of them gave him the address. You know, Skinny wasn't invited. It was a family party, but let's be real. Skinny was family. Dale knew his birthday. Dale said their birthdays was two days apart. Dale knew that man's mother, so they was family. They would just had a, he just wasn't dealing with Skinny at the time. So Skinny wasn't invited. So one of them gave Skinny the address. Skinny was gonna go to that party because Skinny was a gangster, from what I, from my knowledge. So Skinny got that address from me, the cash, shawty, well, I don't want to say the other person name because he's still alive. According to Dale, Dale got into a Dale's wife got into an altercation with G Skinny, which led to G Skinny throwing a drink on his wife, and that's also in the paperwork. So that's in the paperwork now. According to a eyewitness who released the recording. After Skinny threw the drink, they are saying that Dale got up in a rage and said he wanted that MF for dead. Now, Fast Shawty and G Skinny were locked in. So Fast Shawty didn't want his friend to die. So he tried to deter the situation. So as Cash and Fast Shawty, as Cash and G Skinny was walking out, Fast Shawty was walking out as well. Fast Shawty was the buffer between G Skinny and his brother. PBG Booby. And PBG Booby is video of PBG Booby cocking a gun. They didn't show the video of what actually happened, but PBG Booby cocked that gun. And according, this is in the paperwork, according to the paperwork, and this is out of Dale's mouth. It's on Kimion Wise's channel. Um Kimion, excuse me, um, Bubby. Bubby pointed that gun at skinny. And Shawty jumped in the way. And when Shawty jumped in the way, according to the paperwork, Bubby shot him. Now, when Bubby shot him, the wound, the, the wound, the bullet wound wasn't fatal. Fat Shawty wasn't supposed to die. So when he shot Fat Shawty, his brother, he finished the job and he shot a unalive G skinny. Now, according to the witness who was on the scene that was at the table, the audio recording, um, that that all these people sent to me. They saying that Cash picked up G Skinny's gun and he ran. See, a lot of people at the scene were saying that a guy with a green hoodie was shooting. That's why people think that Cash shot, but Cash didn't shoot the gun. Cash was trying to defuse the situation, according to my knowledge. Now, keep in mind, y'all, I wasn't there. I'm, I'm I'm an investigative journalist, you know. So this is what I got from my from my information. So how does that play into Big Dell being angry with Cash then? Um a a blogger, because I, I don't like saying names, I know people is it's two stories that's going around. 
story number one is that, you know, all four of them start tweaking with each other, which means Bubby shot one of them and then one of them shot at another individual. Now, there was no gun residue on G Skinny's hands and there was no gun residue on Fat Shawty's hands. And it was gun residue on Bubby's hand because he shot the gun. So if, if they saying somebody shot at somebody and somebody shooting back, and if it was only four of them there, I can only assume that Cash would have been the one shooting back. That's one story. Another story that I'm hearing is that Cash um, broke into a stash and he took money that Dale felt like he shouldn't have took. Now, what a lot of people don't know is that Dale and see, you got to, I, I, I really, you probably should talk to Swipe about this. Um, Dale told Swipe something about Cash taking something. You know, he that's, told him that himself. that's what, that's what Swipe is saying. Now, people could see Dale, Dale was like, Dale was a, I, I, like, I love Dale. Dale knew, Dale muddied the waters and he knew what he was doing. I love Dale, but I, I now see what he was doing. Dale went around telling people that I was telling people that he backdoored cash because cash took some money out of a safe. And I, before somebody was telling me, I've never heard that story. I'm like, wait, I didn't even know that was true. So it was so much like, it was so much he said, she said, he, and I was noticing the, the puppet master behind this was Dale. And I'm like, why is he causing so much confusion? It's just always just kind of weird. Huh? And where were, and so people were telling you that he's saying these things. Yes, yes, yes. But to you, what is he saying to you? Is he like corroborating any of these things? When all of this was going on, because Dale said some really, really crazy things around the time where I wouldn't let him on that baby Greg platform. He was going around telling people, I, and I don't even see, I, I, don't, I don't want your stuff monitored. I don't, I, like, I don't want to get your stuff flagged, but he was saying some really, really crazy things, you know? So Dale was saying some very, very crazy things, you know, in, in, in the public, on the internet and off the internet. Dale was saying some really, really crazy. It was like lies, if they made any sense. Mm -hmm. So when I confronted Dale about the situation, because when Dale calmed down, like when Dale finally calmed down, because Dale, it got so out of control, I had to call Corey Brooks on Dale. That's what people don't know. I had to call it the past on Dale. So when and it this got- This is all because you wouldn't let him on with Baby Greg, this is all because I would not. And the, listen, the only thing, if you go back to the interview, I never said I would not let him on the platform. See, and I did this on purpose. See what I told what I told him to do. I said, Dale, only thing I said to Dale was, wait a minute. That's the only thing I told that man to do. I never said I wasn't going to let him on. If you even go back and look at the interview, I said, Dale, just wait a minute. Did he publicly say something about it? Like, is, it, is there stuff on his channel where he was upset about it? Or is this all behind the scenes? Well, yeah, he got a whole, he, the man went on a whole tyrant on a, a F Chris Barnes. He's a Judas tirade. It's all on his platform. All this is documented. Chris okay. Barnes is a Judas. Chris Barnes is a this. Chris Barnes is a this. This is a this. I mean, we got back cool, but here's the thing. He made so many videos, like, really just dragging my name through the mud. And then he said some stuff. I'm like, this is the final straw. Like, the man said I was out here changing transmissions. I'm like, come on, Dale. Like, why would you sit there and say that? Like, he knew he knew he shouldn't have said that. So I called him. And when I called him, he thought it was funny. See, I was upset at Dale. But then, like, Dale got me so upset he wasn't mad anymore about the situation. So, like, we got into it. But then, like, we got back cool afterwards if that made any sense. Okay, so the paperwork that... I'm speaking on because of the initially you you all people didn't want to believe that you know Bubby shot his brother and Dale had something to do with it. So the paperwork that I'm speaking on is that paperwork. And in that paperwork, Dale had to speak to the cops. And in that paperwork, Dale told on Bubby. 
and Dale not only that's told him, but, yes, that's in the okay. that's in the paperwork. It's on it's on the internet. It's on the, it's in the paperwork, and he told the cops that not only you know did he do it, but if his son didn't turn himself in, that he would get him. He would turn him in himself if that made bring any him sense. Him. He would bring mm-hmm. him in. So that's that's in the paperwork. So a lot of people, when I dropped the whole video about Dale having something to do with the death of his son people were looking at me like i was crazy but people here's the thing i dropped that video because my source told me that he had something to do with it before the paperwork dropped so they told me he had something to do with it i I dropped the video and then a couple weeks later they come out with the paperwork confirming the story so that that was the video number two that i was speaking on now um yesterday i was in the truck minding my business and the same individual told me about the whole um fbi cpd getting dale's phone records now i would not believe this this individual because the same individual they was like if you don't believe me just call the man's mother and i had shawty's uh mother's number for like a month but who wants to call and be like, hey, did your baby daddy really kill your son? Like, I mean, I, I got a heart. I don't want to do that. But see, like, I'm making these videos and I'm like, damn, like, because I don't, I want to be wrong. Like, I, I, don't, I, I want the woman to be like, I, I lied. Like, seriously, I would love to be wrong with about this situation. I don't want to be freaking right. So I'm like, I got to call this number because like at this at, at this time, like, I'm like, man, my mad playing tricks on me. Like, I'm tripping, you know, so I'm like, I got to call this number. So I, I call the number and I'm thinking that I'm going to get 1-800-Dominoes. And it turns out it's really, it's really this man's mother. And, you know, her words were, her words were this. She goes, you might be adding a little extra sauce to it, but the foundation of your videos are correct. I don't care about the Internet and I don't want to do any interviews because it, it, there is no amount of interviews that ever get my son back. So this is what she told to me, you know, I love my mother. You know what I'm saying? So like, it broke my heart when she told me that. So yeah, I love Dale, but what do you all want me to do? Like, that's that man's mother. She, it took her nine months to get that man in the world. And then to die over some, over some stupid behavior. 